Hello Magic fans and welcome back to the channel. This is Merlin's Magic and I'm saying I'm going to be showing you a really cool impromptu card trick that you can amaze your friends and family with. So if you, if you go on ahead and like this video and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it's on with the trick. So for this trick, you can either use a borrowed deck or if they don't have one, just get a spectator to shuffle. Like so. Just to make sure that they're in their minds. There's been no setup. You can even say, you know, go ahead and give it a few cuts because cutting the cards that basically changes the sequence. So as you see, there's a five. There's a sorry. There's a four of clubs on top. Then again, if you cut it like that, it then changes to a two of diamonds. So once the spectator's happy that. Um, the cards aren't in any particular order and that it's, it's a completely fair deck you can proceed with the trick so what you say to them is you can even hand the cards to the spectator and go okay this trick is going to be done um mainly by you so what i want you to do is go ahead and just choose a card i mean it doesn't have to be a random selection where it's like this if you oh, don't know why that's that way not that it really matters they can either choose a random selection like you finding the cards out and they choose a random or they can go ahead and just look through the deck and pick one they like. It's completely up to them how they want um, to select a card. So let's just say they select this card here to go ahead and look at it. I can't see what it is. It then goes on the top here, like I said, so it's completely fair. I'm just going to cut it like that into the deck a few times and really lose the card for the spectator let's give it a few cuts like that and so now the spectators had a free choice we haven't forced anything they've chosen a card either they like or one by random it's now being cut into the deck and it's in a random position what i'm going to do now is just like i said i'm just going to show the audience that it is that no two cards are alike Okay, I think I'm pretty happy there. I think starting to get a feel for what your card is. So, yeah, there we go. So, what we're going to do is the card somewhere uh, randomly in the deck. What I want you to do is now imagine your card disappear from the deck. So, what we're going to do, we want you to pick it up like this, and then I'll hand it to the spectator like that. So I want you to pick up your two of clubs, which I assume is your card, and just make it vanish from the deck. Like that, it's gone. So now I want you to keep it in your pocket, if you've got a pocket. So like I said, just hand the, their invisible card to the spectators like that. Just push it through the screen so you keep hold of it. Make sure you, you don't lose it. So now your card, the two of clubs, has left the deck. You've now got it safely in your pocket. I cannot get it because obviously you've got it through the screen. I've put it through the screen into your lap and you've now put it in a safe place you probably put it in a in a lockup like with a padlock so there's no way i can get to it but i want you to do now is pick a number between one and 52 there's 52 cards in a deck but for time's sake i should say pick a number between five and 26 and like i said that i'll count down that number like that and that will be the that will be the amount of that'll be the order sorry of where your card will be so go ahead and choose a number. Eight. Okay, sure you're happy with eight? Do you want to choose a different number? Eleven. Okay, we'll, we'll go to eleven. So we're going to count eleven cards down. So nice and cleanly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the eleventh position here will be your two of clubs. Oh, wait, no, it's the four of clubs. Oh, that's it. I remember. Yes, you've got hold of it, haven't you? So what I want you to do is reach into your pocket right now or wherever you've put it. If you've put it in a safe, I want you to turn all the little combinations and unlock the safe. Get it out your safe or out your purse, wherever you've kept it. And go ahead and just throw the card through the screen for me so I can catch it. Oh, thank you very much. I'm just going to place it back the, down there into the pile. So now this should work. Now that we've got your invisible card, it's now back in the deck. So well, your number was 11. So let's count this cleanly. Or the spectator 
if we had one, could do it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the 11th position is your card, the two of clubs. So that is the performance, guys. From personal experience, when I've performed this trick, it astonishes. You'll get a really great reaction from it. And like I said, the best thing about it, it's impromptu. You can use a borrowed deck. It's, it can also be redone again and again and again. And the, the method will never be recognised. It's so subtle and um, slick that the, no audience member will pick up on how it's done. So you'll have to redo it again and again and again. The audience member can shuffle it however they want. They can cut it however they want. They can really have a free choice. And if you think that was an amazing trick, just stick round and we'll get into the tutorial. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is the tutorial for this trick. I call this trick the invisible deck or the invisible card. So what you want to do is, like I said before the trick, if there's no setup, which is what makes this trick so amazing. So like I said here... The audience member can shuffle, however, overhand, riffle, shuffle, cut the deck however they want. And just until they're happy that this really is a randomly ordered deck, there's no gimmicks, there's no setup. So then again, you give them a free choice of a card. You can either do it like that and they pick one at random, or they can go through the deck themselves and have to think, oh, I quite like the Jack of Hearts. Then they'll take, say, the Jack of Hearts. Obviously, you won't know what it is. And as they're looking at their card, memorising it, so in this case, we're playing with the Jack of Hearts. So I know it this time what the card is. Whereas when you're performing, you won't. All you're doing when they're memorising their card, which is the Jack of Hearts in this case, is you have a sneaky peek at the bottom card. In this case, the Two of Diamonds. And that's going to be your key card. Now, key cards are used in a lot of tricks by card magicians. And all this is, is a key card is how you're going to be able to locate their card later. So you don't know what their card is, but you do know the bottom card, which in this case is the two of diamonds. So once they've then said, OK, yeah, I know what my card is, they've shown any spectate, any of their friends or other spectators who want to see what they've selected. Once they've done that, you now know all you're saying in your mind is two of diamonds, two of diamonds, or whatever your bottom card is when you perform the trick. Their card goes on top. And the reason it's called a key card is that you have to make sure they cut the cards because when you cut, so here, when you cut the deck like this, what happens is their card will be on top. Because obviously your card is on the bottom, the key card. You then cut down their card, which is from the top, will go directly underneath theirs, if that makes sense. It's now two of diamonds. All we're doing, once they've cut the deck, is we're now looking for the two of diamonds. Because then that will tell us what their card is. So let's go ahead here. And their card is the Jack of Hearts. And then what you do is you leave their card on top and bring the, your key card back to the bottom. So all you've done there is controlled their card, the Jack of Hearts, to the top. So if we do that one more time, just in case any of you are newcomers to Magic, it's a quite a simple card control to the top. So like I said, it's been lost. I'll show you in like an expose. We're all going through the cards, looking for your key card, the two of diamonds. So once you see their two of diamonds, you're going to say, look, I'm just showing you that all the cards are, in fact, different. And when you come to their card like that, as you can see, the jack of hearts are there. Bring your key card to the bottom of the deck like that, and their card will go to the top. But obviously you don't want to reveal that yet. So what you then say is, I want you, imagine, you want you to imagine your card leaving the deck and go ahead and take it. So like that, and this, this is where your acting skills comes in. And if you're doing it like I'm doing through a video, you can, you know, throw it like that through the camera or get the spectator to hold it. If it's like a street performance or you're standing up, you can say, okay, just hold on to your cards here, which was the... Um, the Jack of Hearts, then you can reveal it, and they'll be blown by that. In fact, they actually already know what their card is, but the great thing about this, it's like a two-effect trick. So you've got a, a really cool reveal there in the middle of the trick, and that's not it over, because now they've got hold of what they think. Obviously, they haven't got, the deck hasn't magically got a, 
an invisible card just because you say oh here's your card they'll they'll play along but you know which which they don't that their card is on the top so then all you do is then say okay i want you to think now that your card's safely wherever you've kept it in your pocket i want you to pick a number between one and 52 you can leave it at that but if they pick something like 36 it just means the trick's going to take longer so you can say yeah, pick a number between 1 and 52. There's 52 cards in the deck, but just for time's sake, so the trick doesn't go on too long. And then pick a number between 5 and 26. They've still got a lot of numbers they can choose from. So you can change your mind if you're not happy. So they'll say, I don't know, 8. And you go, what we're going to start peeling off cards like that, and your card will be in the 8th position. You deal 3 off. It's really, This is the sleight of hands. This bit's really important. This is how the trick works. You peel off three cards, obviously not showing. If you if you flash their card, they'll know that their card's on the top. So you go, okay, so think of the number, and they say eight. So you go, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing cards down like this, and then your card will be then in the eighth position unless you want to change your mind. They sometimes might change their mind, and as they're thinking about it, you're catching a pinky break under the third card. Make sure it's the third card, and I'll explain why in a minute. So they might change their mind. They say, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's do ten. I say, that's brilliant, okay. It, your card will now appear in the 10th position. Then you go, you peel down the first card, generally just one card, place it on the table. For this one, you're going to lift the card in the second and third position as one card. So as you see here, it's two cards. You place down, and they won't, let's make sure, when you place it down, you don't flash. That is two cards, go then instantly go down to the next one to then hide. The fact that you've just done a double. So you're now on four. So you've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when you get to their selected number 10, you obviously reveal that is not their card. Because obviously it won't be because their card was placed down first. And this is how this trick works from here. It's self-working. It's a maths trick. All you're doing is reversing the order. You placed it down first to begin with. When you do the trick again, it will then reveal itself in the top position, in their position, on the 10th position. And I'll show you why. So they, then you say, oh, oh yes, I remember. Of course, that's not your card, because you've still got hold of your card, isn't it? It's in your pocket, sir, or madam, or like I said, you've still got hold of it through your screen, so you need to give it back to me. So then they'll go into, make them go into their pocket, they'll, you'll get some laughs. Pick up their card like that and say, okay, just place it down on that pile. But dum Okay, so now you say that your card now is back and it's not invisible anymore. It's now a physical card. Then you go to collect and place these back on top. And as you see, their card is on the bottom. So when you redeal 10 cards again, their card will be in the 10th position guaranteed every single time. Or whatever number they've chosen, if it's 13, they'll be on the 13th position. Because all you've done is place cards down in order. Then you've reversed the order by redistributing the cards out. So you can go, okay, count with me. Or you can get the spectator to count down 10. And that would be even more amazing. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And of course, 10. Their, that is their card. Every single time. So that is the trick. It gives an amazing reaction. And it's a really cool card trick you can do again and again and again from a borrowed deck. So if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you tomorrow at 6 for more magic content. Thanks for watching.